check out. You said some things going down in South Africa with Mandela's artifacts that they're trying to stop the white folk from stealing like they done stole everything out. The deeper they dig into the earth, the blacker it gets. Mm-hmm. Well, the South African government announced that they're going to challenge the auctioning of dozens of artifacts belonging to the nation's anti-apartheid stalwart, Nelson Mandela, saying the items are of historical significance and should remain in the country. 75 artifacts belonging to Mandela, the country's first democratically elected president, who spent 27 years in jail for his anti-apartheid struggle against the white minority government, are to go under the hammer on February 22nd in a deal between the New York-based auctioneers Guernsey's and Mandela's family, mainly his daughter, Dr. Makiziwa Mandela. Who? I probably didn't say that right. I know you didn't say it right. Makiziwa, uh, Makiziwe, M-A-K-A-Z-I-W-E, Mandela. Look it, look it up. The items include his iconic Ray-Ban sunglasses yeah. and his Madiba shirts, personal letters he wrote from prison, as well as a blanket gifted to him by former President Barack Obama right. and his wife, Michelle. So who's trying to sell his stuff? His daughter, his family. Oh. A champagne Maybe they need the money. That was a present from former President Bill Clinton is also on the list, with bidding for it starting at $24,000. And among the items Items is his ID book, which was his identification document right. following his 1993 release from prison. But what Africa is trying to do is they're trying to get back all of their Hell yeah. African artifacts that have been around stolen the world. from around the world throughout the year. Let me ask something real quick. Let me break in here. Mm-hmm. I'll let you continue. <clears throat> every museum on the continent, every museum on the planet. The, de- the deeper you dig, the blacker it gets. Where is Jesus' stuff at? The people in the Bible, where is their stuff? Why is everything in museums from blacks, but they only want you to think that we were only slaves? Continue. So it says that the plan auction comes as many African countries seek to have treasured African artworks yeah. and artifacts People that were removed from back. the continent during colonial years right. return to Africa. Most recently, Nigeria and Germany signed a deal for the return of hundreds of artifacts known as the Benin Bronzes. The deal followed French President Emmanuel Macron's decision mm-hmm. in 2021 right. to sign over 26 pieces known as the Abami treasures, priceless artworks of the 19th century, the Homie Kingdom in present day. The Homie King. Benin. Yeah. yeah. It's all about the homies, man. But um, his daughter says that their reason for doing this auction is because they want people in the and you know other people in the world to have a piece of Nelson Mandela yes and to remind them especially in the current situation of compassion of kindness of forgiveness right. is what she told the times mm. but you also have to know that even though she didn't mm. mention it it's going to be very profitable for the family yeah i mean if there if that one cooler mm. that was given to him by clinton is starting at twenty four thousand dollars. Right. You can only imagine what some of the other yeah. thing items. And maybe they need the money. I in. don't know how they burn through the money because winning Mandela died after Nelson. What money? I thought they. Well, yeah, the man was in prison for twenty some odd years. Yeah, he wasn't rich, so you know this this could. Most African nations want their their their, their deal back. See, people look at Africa as a country. Africa's a continent. There are 52 different countries Mm -hmm. in Africa. And everything that's in a museum worldwide comes from where? And look at a lot of the jewels and and things that they had in England. A lot of that That came from Africa. That stuff came from Africa. You sitting here and you got um, all these jewels in Queen Elizabeth's deal. Mm -hmm. And that shit came from Africa. 
because they just been raping the resources. That's why right now you got this young guy. I can't think it begins with an M. He's 30 some odd years old. He done shut down everything. We not sending France no more money. We not letting you come in and take our resources. Africa is the is is the Sam's of the world. Everything you want, the shit that's in your cell phone, oil, diamonds, everything comes from the continent of Africa. Yet, black people ain't about crap. So, yeah, mine. I hope the, the, the Mandela's get their loot, mine. So, well, yeah. I mean, well, it, unless the country the, win their lawsuit, then they won't be able to do it. Well, <clears throat> Africa's shutting it down. This dude said he don't fear the colonizers anymore. He said we need to quit outsourcing our resources while we the poorest continent on the damn planet because all the, these folk taking all our stuff. So I hope they get what they want. What do you think? Is everything in a museum from Africa? Is everything in a museum referred to black people? Our history does not start with damn slavery. Where was the first university? It was in Timbuktu. Did you know that? Where did language come from? Where did math and sciences come from? I'll tell you a quick story and I'm going to let Jackie go to the Jackie O report. When Africa was finally conquered, it took 10,000 years to conquer Africa. It was conquered by Alexander the Great. He went and got Aristotle and Plato and brought them back to Africa where they raided the libraries and the universities. So when you say, oh, well, Aristotle said, Aristotle ain't said a damn thing. He got that from the books in Africa because they took them books back to Greece and they rewrote them. So you don't know a damn thing about your history. We're going to delve into that next month during Black History Month, but I digress. Let us know what you think. Do you think the Mandela's should get their stuff back? Do you think Nigeria and Egypt and other different uh, countries on the continent of Africa, which has 52 different countries, do you think that they should get their artifacts back to put in their own museum, their jewels, their, 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 the things where they have the mummies and whatnot, the, uh, the esophaguses, esophaguses or whatever they call them. You know what it is. Look it up. Now, the Mandela's are not trying to get their artifacts back. No, they the just The Mandela's selling. are trying to sell That's some what of I'm theirs. saying. Do you yeah. think they should sell or do you think they should hold on to it? Because look what happened with Martin Luther King's kids. When they were trying to sell his Bible and all his artifacts. Yeah, they're battling against each other. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Put that down in the comments. Pushgapradios.com. Dallas, baby.